So I guess by now everybody's heard about Derek Chauvin, Derek Chauvin, however you say his damn name, getting stabbed in prison on Black Friday. <laughs> but I, I, I just, I, I just don't know what to, what to think about it or how to feel about it because I mean, you mean to tell me that that Derek Chauvin got convicted of killing George Floyd and sent to prison, and then while he's doing his long ass prison sentence, he just happens to get stabbed. I mean, there's no such thing as a motherfucking coincidence. I mean, it, it's all a distraction. I mean, it's it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the agenda. I mean, to keep it real, I, I heard that Derek Chauvin was finally fixing to tell the truth about what really happened, about why he didn't do what we all watched him do. He was just waiting for the right time, so they had to silence him. Because, you know, that's what you do, like Trump going off on True Social about all these corruption and all this stuff in, in, in the courts and everything. But he can't wait to go to trial, so that way he can finally now in 2023, 2024, show how the election of 2020 was stolen. You know, Derek just had to wait until he was in prison for a while before he could finally release the Kraken. And to be honest with you, we shouldn't just automatically assume what they're telling us is the truth. We shouldn't just automatically just believe what they're telling us we don't even really know if Derek really did get shanked i mean just all we can do is just offer thoughts and prayers and not rush to judgment and not politicize it i mean I, to be honest i'm still waiting on the toxicology report because i have on good sources that Derek actually od'd on fentanyl and he just fell on the shank